Hey, it's Mitch Nader Survival. The video that you're about to see was actually shot by a good friend of mine, Matt Brooks, for a new series on his channel. I'm going to throw some links on the bottom uh, to his Facebook and to his channel as well. Stay tuned. today at Massachusetts with Dave Mitch Mitchell, otherwise known as Mitch. Um, I met Mitch at the advanced class uh, that we had. It was the first one for the Pathfinder. And ever since then, we've been uh, doing a lot of hanging out together and some dirt time together. And uh, he's become a good friend of mine. Right on, man. Hey, you know, I appreciate the time that, uh, that we have together, man. And you're always welcome to my camp, bro. Thanks. All right. Get my Bannock mix here. I always start by putting way less um, than I think. That way I'm guaranteed not to ruin it and put too much water. Alright, so you know that your consistency is right if it flows, but it almost doesn't flow. You know, it's very stiff, but it still flows. That's key. All right, so at this stage, I'm going to add my pine. That's my favorite bannock. And these are um, actually um, the male cones of, of the pine trees. But basically, in the spring growth, you get this, um, this growth at the end of every twig. You get usually three, a little cluster of this light green growth. And that's, and that's what this is. Tastes delicious. It's good for you. So at this stage is when I add my flavoring, whatever fruit I'm using, raspberry, blueberry, whatever, knotweed, apples, tons of bannock you can make. Plank here. Oh yeah. A stout bank. I just tap the sides to firm it up and to shape it. Tap the top. I try to get it all uh, about the same thickness too, so it cooks the same speed. All right. So I'm sure you can see the pine in there as well. And it's going to stick to my board too. Okay. So now I have a a, a wedge rock right here. You can use rock, wood, whatever you have. That way you can tilt it towards the fire. Now, the goal is to brown the front edge. You get it nice golden brown. And then you rotate it. And you go around the whole bannock and firm up the edge. Nice golden brown. And then you increase your wedge. And then you uh, you brown the middle. So we're going to uh, get on this, and we'll get back to you. All right. So we've got it browned all the way around on the edge. And all I did was, as it got brown, I just turned it a little bit. 
And the areas where it has to go further, because it's not right on the edge of, of the plank, it just takes a little longer. It's not a big deal. It all browns up on you. At this point, I'm going to turn my rock around. Instead of the 45, I'm going to use the 90. So I can increase my angle. All right. So now I'm trying to cook the face of it. This also helps when you lift your fire up a little bit. So we might have to tweak that. We'll see. So basically, I'm going to just tweak this up, get it just right, nice, ni almost 90, it's about 45 degrees or so, but I want it a much higher angle. I'm just going to um, brown it on the middle now. So we're going to get going on this. We'll get back to you. Now, I like to keep the middle unbrown because then it's nice and gooey inside, but it's it's solid. So it's kind of doughy and it's amazing. So. Uh, we're going to let this cool down, and then we'll uh, show you the final result. Alright, so it's cooled down. So let's crack her open and see how it is. I've had this before at the Winter Classic. and made it with the, the pine. It's, it's very good. Excellent. Oh yeah. It's good. You can taste the pine in it. Very yeah, the good. outside's nice and crispy, and the inside's gooey. So you can kind of get a little bit of each. Mm. <laughs> That's great. Like this right here. Look at that piece. Oh man. Oh, can't wait. I'm glad uh, Mitch had an opportunity to show everybody his bannock, which is really good. This is uh, Mitch's uh, neck of the woods. We're up here in the Massachusetts Pathfinder location, uh, which I've been to several times. Um, I'm going to be going, as you guys know, from state to state, uh, checking out other Pathfinders and doing videos with them. So uh, we'll see you at the next site. Thanks. Take care.